Dr. William David. You're a board certified cardiologist. Why you would want to eliminate wheat from your diet? Grains are a food of desperation. You know, if, if you and I hadn't what do you mean by that? If we were starving and all you had was a moldy loaf of bread, you should eat it. <laughs> so that's how grains got their start in the human diet, by the way. It was a food of desperation. When you think of it, if you saw a wheat plant, would you really think that looks yummy? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> you can't really eat that plant. You can't eat the leaves, the stalk, the roots. You can try to isolate the seed out of the husk. You have to dry it, pulverize it, reheat it. Only then can you even begin to consume it. You can consume it, but even then, Randy, you can't digest it. And therein lies a lot of the source of problems in grains because we're incapable of digesting most of the proteins in grains. And those proteins, when left intact, have all sorts of peculiar effects, like that gliadin protein. If it remains intact, which it does, it initiates the processes of autoimmunity. It causes intestinal leakiness. If gliadin remains intact, it initiates autoimmune diseases, but it can be partially digested. You know, if you and I eat an egg, we break the proteins down into single amino acids. That's how humans digest proteins. But if you eat the gliadin protein of wheat, you can break it down to pieces, but not into amino acids. Those pieces are peculiar. They have very unique structures, and they act as opiates.